Parshas Mishpatim begins with the words, Ve'elah HaMishpatim, and these are the statutes. Question is asked, why does it say and? Last week we discussed the giving of the Torah, the Sinaitic revelation. The and would incl incline that this is a continuum. And what is discussed in this week's portion? Very simple basic laws. Our sages tell us that when it says Ve'elu Mishpatim, that these are the laws which are set out before you, Keshulchan Aruch, like a set table. What is it that's set for us? What's all prepared for us? Is Halacha, Jewish law. What is Jewish law that's set out for us? It's what God wants. It's all the details of how to do all of the commandments. What is the purpose of doing all the commandments? Is to make a dwelling place down here in this physical world for God. What's the purpose of the giving of the Torah? What was the purpose of the revelation on Sinai, if not to make it such that we can relate to God? The Almighty has always availed himself to the Jewish people in such a way that we can always have access to him. During the temple times, it was with sacrifices. Now, it says, since the destruction of the temple, where does God find himself? It says in the Dalit Amos, in the four cubits, in the small space that occupies Jewish law. So in other words, if you want to know what does God want, open up a code of Jewish law. Every single detail is intrinsically important for making this world better, making it a dwelling for God. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.